Cafe Reconcile wants the youth in its program to be open minded about their future. The restaurant is planning to pay for some of their college education. Reporter Susan Isaacs had lunch at the Central City Hotspot and explains how they're thinking outside of hospitality. I'm very spontaneous, very energetic, a people person. Uh, I like to cook and very positive person. Anicia Spurlock is 19 years old, works two jobs, and loves writing poetry. She felt as though everything around her world has shattered. She's a hostess at Cafe Reconciles Culinary Training Program, a 12 week curriculum where at risk youth are mentored and trained for the workforce. And they work the lunch crowd at the Cafe Reconcile the Restaurant. I'm just so comfortable in it, like, I don't want to work nowhere else, honestly. But that's not the only thing on her plate. She's preparing to go to Delgado Community College next semester. And Cafe Reconcile CEO Glenn Armantrout says she's not alone. There's five students right now. Um, who are either enrolled or, or are enrolling. This is the most participants that Cafe Reconcile has had in college or planning to attend college at one single time. And what they're studying may surprise you. you know, our graduates are going on to, to careers and, and wanting careers in the medical field, communication, um, the petrochemical, oil and gas. Here's Brandon Robertson. I like helping people. He's attending Delgado next semester to pursue a future in nursing and Lakeisha Rogers. I'm the new beauty consultant in America. Who will also attend Delgado. She has the spirit of a saleswoman and we can't forget about Anicia. We want to have my own restaurant, small little businesses for like kids. I just want to be like an entrepreneur. Advisors at Cafe Reconcile want students to know that even though the training isn't a restaurant, they don't have to limit themselves to hospitality. Once you graduate from our program, that's just the beginning. You, know, you, you now have that platform to start your life and get out of your life of surviving and now you get a life of self-sufficiency. Cafe Reconcile has teamed up with Delgado to offer scholarships for some of its students in the program. It's also in talks with Xavier, Dillard and UNO and hopes to do the same. On your side in Central City, Susan Isaac, WDSU News. And the good news doesn't stop there for Cafe Reconcile. The restaurant will start serving dinner next month.